Uh, hey folks, we're back with the third period of game two of the Edmonton, Florida series. Edmonton to open up the scoring with Ryan Nugent Hopkins putting one in for McDavid at Hyman. And then Florida tied it with Anton Lundell. In the second period, it was all Florida with two goals um, to make it three to one. I've just started the third period and I thought I'd throw this on a video. Uh, Zach Hyman has just scored a power play goal. It is now 3-2 Florida as we get ready to finish off the third period. So Edmonton has momentum. And here we go. It is a 10. So it's going to go to the high face-off team. Bennett is a 46. And Dry Settle is a 57. So Edmonton has the puck. And we have an 8. So we're going to be comparing everybody in this row here again i usually use travis jansen's trays oops that's a tray for a red white and dual blazing but uh because these cards are oversized and they're homemade they won't fit in uh travis's trays but i totally recommend travis's trays um so an eight and we're looking for smart so we have one two three four five on edmonton and four so it's going to be an edmonton shot five to four and it is a 12 so there's going to be a two three four so two henrique three dry sidle and four would be at home so we've got no stars two stars actually three stars because they have momentum this is a five star shot by at home it is oh not in range so the puck is going to go back over to florida got to change lines the panthers lead it three to two we're in the third period. We have a three, so we're looking for the most triangles for a scoring chance. Um, they have nothing, and Florida has nothing. So when you have no triangles, it is going to be a lull. So we're five minutes into this hockey game. Edmonton will lose their momentum. They trail three to two from the faceoff number eight. That will go to the home team. And we have an 11. We're looking for defense. So they have two square block symbols. Uh, Edmonton does not. They only have the one. So Florida is going to get a shot on net. A seven. We have to go to the secondary ch chart for shooting. And secondary chart number three is going to be a five, three, two. So five is Kulikov. Three is Lundell. Two is Lusterainen. So nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. So it's a no star shot for Florida. And eight, a puck is going to go back over. we got to change the lines. We've got the fourth lines coming out. And here come the Oilers. Three, two, Florida. We have an 11. So we're looking for two squares on defense. Florida has it. So that will be an Edmonton turnover. And we got to change the lines. Here comes Florida. They lead it three to two. Oops, missed the box there. We have a four. So odd man rush. Does 03 have a down arrow? Uh, Barkoff does. So it is going to be a scoring chance for Florida. The second of the period, they got their top line out. This is good. It's a three. So it's a four, two, threes. Secondary assist, Mikula. Primary assist, Verhege. And four, two, three, the shot would be Barkoff. So we have a one, two, two-star shot for Florida. And it's going to be a save and a face-off with the seven. So we got to rotate the lines. The game is still 3-2. The face-off, we got a five. It is going to be a shot for Edmonton. They get an automatic play. So we're eight minutes in. Edmonton's getting their third chance of the period. Seven means we go to the secondary shot. And six on the secondary shot is a 5-3-4. So five three and a four cc is stars we have two assists and another star so the stars cut this in half so this goes from a two to a one that would cut it to a half so it's a no star shot and we have a six so it's going to be a rebound coming out to offensive player number one so the secondary assist for deshanae goes away it goes to dry settle cc will now get the primary assist and Holloway is going to get a two-star shot. He's already got one. Gets another one for the rebound. And it's an 11, which means it's going to be a breakaway going the other way for Florida. So Florida picks up a breakaway on 11. 
And it's a nine, which is four, two, choice. So four, two, the choice will be Sam Bennett. And it is a breakaway, so it's going to be the white stars will be encountered. So one, two, three, four, five, six star shot. This is a scoring chance. It's a four. They're going to shoot on Stuart Skinner. He does not have momentum, so that is going in the net. Florida scores their fourth goal of the hockey game. It will be Sam Bennett, one of the most rugged hitters in the NHL. He's going to score at 844, and Florida takes a 4-2 lead from Tachuk and Oliver Ekman Larson, OEL, will pick up the other assist. It is now 4-2 for the Florida Panthers. Game two, Florida won the first game. If I remember right, they won this game in overtime in real life and in uh, face-off, well, not face-off, a uh, hockey blast. From the face-off, we have a seven, so that is going to be a lull. That takes us to 11 minutes in this hockey game, and that is also going to lose Florida's momentum. So we got another face-off. Florida probably doesn't mind that. we got an eight. That's going to go to the home team. Florida picks up the puck. We have a five. We've got a possible penalty coming up on the play. Number nine, that is going to go to offensive player number two. So offensive player number two, Itu Lusterainen, is possibly going to get the penalty. We'll compare him against the four. So two against the four. They always add up to six. He's a .5. Bouchard is a .5. So Bouchard would have to have a higher penalty to get the penalty. So Lusterainen is going to get the penalty. He's one of their key penalty killers. So he is picking up two minutes for Florida. This is Edmonton's fifth power play opportunity of the hockey game. And Edmonton is going to skip a line to get out the top unit. And I think they're even going to double shift. No. Double shift. No, they're not going to double shift the D-men. We want to double shift McDavid. Uh, we're going to rotate these guys. Florida is going to double shift their D-men. So Forsling can stay out. And coming out to kill the penalty will be Stenlin and Cousins. And here we go. Big chance for Edmonton. They need to score. We are 12 minutes in to this period. It is 4-2 Florida. Eight minutes left in the hockey game. Edmonton needs to score on the eight. Man advantage has a star. They do have a star. That is going to be a shot on net for Edmonton. They got their big gun line out. Oh, missed the box. An eight is going to be a 2-1-3. So Nugent Hopkins, secondary assist. Hyman, the primary assist. McDavid with the shot. We got two, three, four, four-star shot. It is a five. Proboski with a huge stop. Snared with the glove hand. And we got to rotate the Florida guys since they don't have any more uh lines we're going to double shift mcdavid will rotate the d edmonton will start with the puck again what a save by brabowski and here comes a six so it's going to be a zoom we are looking for player number two who's not even there and a four but it's a hit cc does not have a hit so it's going to be an edmonton turnover Puck is going to go over. We've got to rotate the lines. Out of the penalty box comes Lewis to Ryan, and Edmonton does not score on the power play. Florida has the puck. They bring it out. We've got an 11. They're looking for two squares. Edmonton only has one, so Florida is going to get a shot on net. They're fourth of the game. It is a four, so it's a 1-3-4. One, three, four. Ekman Larson's a zero. And it's a one star shot. And it's a nine. So the puck is going to go over to Edmonton as we rotate. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Four minutes left in the hockey game. And it's a three. We're looking for the most triangles. We don't have any here. And we don't have any here. So that is going to be a lull. That takes us to one minute to go in the hockey game. Edmonton is going to pull their goalie, and we're going to bring out Connor McDavid. No, we're going to bring out Dreisaitl. They want to win the faceoff. Lendell's a 55, so we'll bring out Dreisaitl for the draw. 
Number eight, Man Advantage gets it, and they get an immediate play. So here we go. Edmonton picks it up with an immediate play. Number 10, um, a 4-1-2. So a 4-1-2. Fogel's going to get the shot. Oh, we got two stars and a scissors, so it's just going to be a one-star shot for Fogel. It is a one-star shot for Fogel. He's going to shoot on Brabowski. He scores. Edmonton has made it 4-3. to three. They pulled their goalie. It is going to be Warren Fogel with the goal. Time of the goal is going to be 19-15. We have 45 seconds left from Ekholm and Holloway. And so now Edmonton has to win the draw. And they have to roll on the nine. They have to roll an eight and get an immediate play. So here we go. We are going to do a line skip also for Edmonton to get their big line out. Drysidle will come out. Florida will also do a line skip. And here we go for the faceoff. Net is pulled, number seven. Faceoff won by the high faceoff player. So we have 57 for Edmonton, 57 for them. Um, Edmonton has momentum, so they would get it and would go to roll. But since that would be an additional play, uh, the game is over. So they had to have get it on the last play um, with an automatic shot without going to the um, empty net table. So that is how this hockey game is going to end. The Edmonton Oilers, they lose game two, four to three. Uh, let's just check out the stats for today and see what happened here. On that third period, three, six, nine lulls. So the shots would be four for Edmonton, five for Florida. In that third period, Edmonton had six and four, ten shots on net. Florida, four and five, they had nine. Scoring chances, Edmonton won two. They just had the two chances, and Florida just had their one chance. So eight chances in the game for the Oilers, four for Florida. Shots on goal, 27 shots for Edmonton, only 19 for the Panthers. Uh, Skinner, four scoring chances by Florida. He was 0 for 4 on those scoring chances. He didn't stop any. Broboski had eight. He stopped five of eight. Good job by Brubosky. He's going to get a star for that performance. Power plays, we have 6 and 6 is 12. 12 and 9 is 21. Divided by 5 is 4. So we split those four between the two teams. 1, 2, 3, 4. Edmonton finishes 2 for 7 on the power play. Florida's 1 for 3. So in this series, the Florida Panthers have now won both games in Florida over Edmonton. They win this one in Hockey Blast 4-3. That's all for tonight, folks.